It's Jennifer Woolsey, and welcome to Wake Up and Make Up. I'm running very, very late today, but that's okay because we don't have anywhere to go anyway. So we're going to do a quick makeup tutorial. I have already um, gone in and primed and prepared my skin. We're just going to do a few quick steps today because I'm going to show you. We're going to experiment. I've never done this before, so let's hope it works out. Um, I already did the vitamin C serum, the eye brightening cream, and the vitamin C priming lotion. So we are already all primed up. Okay, so we're going to go in with just a few steps. I'm going to try to do this with three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. So let's see. Magic's Tint, we're going to use Shade Fair. I'm just putting it on my hand. going to rub it in. And it's a little bit light, isn't it? I might should have went a little bit darker. That's okay. We can make it work. Just putting it on. Oh, it is way light. Just putting it on like a lotion. I think we will have to go add one more step. <laughs> that is really light. I didn't realize how dark that I have gotten. Okay, so if you put a foundation on that's too light, let me show you how to fix it. We're going to pull the Magic's Dust out in light. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of blending. Good morning, Jacqueline. I know, girl, you wouldn't believe the craziness around here. It is nuts. <laughs> okay, so I put on my Magic's Tint in Fair, and it was kind of too light so I'm gonna go back over it with light and just blend I'm trying to do just a few easy steps this morning I want to show you guys a few easy steps so we're just gonna blend 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 get those colors looking right yes much better okay so what do you have going on today anything fun and exciting are you going to take us up on the weekend warrior challenge Okay, Magic's Wand in Marshmallow for these eyes. Oh, these eyes need all the help. I did not sleep very good last night. Are you excited? Finishing the video later. Okay, you are going to want to do it. It's going to be fun. I hope everybody's good at your house and feeling well. Okay, all right, so we got the Magic's Tint on, so just, just a lighted tinted moisturizer, because like I said, we're not going anywhere, so what's the point? And putting a full coverage on, but we do have a cool powder foundation coming, I can't wait to show you. Okay, so that was Magic's Tint, and then we did Magic's Wand, so that's step two. Okay, we're going to let, we let that stick just kind of blend in and I'm going to go over it now just blending a little bit more we're going to try to do this in six steps are y'all ready okay next we have to frame the brows because the brain brain the brows are the frame to the face okay so we're going to use tattoo station and so whenever you guys aren't going anywhere, like if you're not leaving the house, do you even mess with makeup? I would say normally I don't. Like on a weekend or something. When I'm looking up closer, I'm realizing I needed to blend a little bit better with that. <laughs> okay, so the tattoo station is gonna stay in place for 24 hours. I'm just gonna do light strokes, just light little hair-like strokes to help fill in some of that sparsity that I have. I, You know, the weird thing is my mom, whenever we started wearing makeup, I went to Meryl Norman. She took us to Meryl Norman and had a, a color matching. And I don't even know if Meryl Norman is still around. And um, she said, okay, once you start wearing makeup, you have to wear it every day. You do not leave the house without makeup on. I think I was like 13. Oh my gosh, it did damage to me. I'm like, I can't even go to the grocery store without makeup on. It is, I told her when, whenever I got older, I was like, you know, you were, you ruined me. 
And she was like, what? I was like, I don't even want to go to Walmart or to go fishing without makeup on because you told me we couldn't. And even, even taking her to dialysis, she would still put on her makeup to go sit in that dialysis chair for three hours a day. I'm like, mother, nobody cares if you have your makeup on. I do. Because if you get up and you get dressed and you show up, you will feel better. And I was like, okay, all right. Okay, so the brows are lined and we're all blended with the under eye. Now, this is the new Love Blush in Queen Carnation. We're going to try it as an eyeshadow. So this is step number four. Are you guys with me on this? We're going to try it. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay, so I cleansed my brushes. So I'm just going to tap onto that pad. And then I'm just going to tap, tap, tap on my eye. Tap, tap, tap. So the cool thing is these come in, I think, six different shades. And so you could really have all kinds of a variety of like a cream type shadow. I'm not really rubbing. You can tell I'm just barely patting. And then I'm going to show you how to highlight those brows too. Isn't that fun? I was just thinking last night as I was sitting here looking at my makeup counter, I was like, how can I cut these steps down so it's not so many steps? And then I was like, huh, let's play with it and see. Okay, so I'm just, and it's not looking like, I was like, oh, is it going to look like I have a black eye? It's not feeling that way. I'm bringing it all the way up to that crease bone. Okay, so there is that. Now, with the highlighter, which is the new highlighter, this is Fairy Delilah. Fairy, Fairy Delilah. It reminds me of like a, hey there, Delilah. Okay. I can't sing. All right. So we're going to go in with a different brush and we're just going to highlight underneath that brow area and bring it down in this area. What do you think? Is this a cute eye look? Is this something you would rock? Okay. We may have to blend a little bit more. I like to bring a highlighter down a little bit into this eye area because my eyes are darker in that area. If yours aren't, that may not be something you want to do. And I'm just like patting and tapping, patting and tapping. Okay, so we're going to go in really quick and line these eyes. What do you think? It's not too bold. It's not too, um, you know, it's not too bad of a color I don't think I've got to get some of the other shades we could play and do a little bit more color variation let's do the full look and see what you think Especially on these hot summer days when it's like 120 million degrees outside, if you're in Texas. Doing a lighter makeup look. Will just make your face feel lighter, like it's not quite as weighted down. And I'm all about lighter today. Okay, so let's put some of this love. Oh, and I have to tell you something. I had my love mascara on yesterday. And I was talking to a friend, um, and she was like, do you have false lashes on? And I was like, no. She said, oh my gosh, when you put look down, it looked exactly like you had false lashes on. I was like, no ma'am, I have my Love Waterproof Mascara on, and I love it. It is crazy, the expansion and the growth that you can get with these little heart-shaped fibers. Look at that. That lift from that brush it is nuts, nuts. Okay. Let's do this other side. And I'm gonna do the cheeks real quick. And then we will be ready to party. 
with just six products. Is that not awesome? I'm all about finding a way to multi-purpose a product and not just have to use it in one area. My lashes are finally filling in because this mascara also has that conditioner in it. We dipped. When you dip, we dip, we dip. I don't know. I know. It's weird. Okay. We're going to use the Love Bronzer. And notice I haven't put any powder on yet. I'm going to do all of my liquids first. And then I'll cover with a... a uh, just picking up just a tad on that pad. Trying to bring that up in an arch. You could use a different applicator for this if you wanted to. Move that one a little bit low. That's okay. We'll just use our finger. Why not? In case you were wondering, I'm not a professional makeup artist. FYI, I'm just playing. Playing one on Facebook. <laughs> okay, so I've kind of put that in some different areas that I want to give myself a little bit of a bronzed look. Now, I'm going to go in with that buffer. And I'm just going to buff, 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 pat, 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 pat. Kind of like if you're sculpting. Or, um, if you're using like our... What's it called? Contouring stick. Yeah. Kind of using that bronzer as a contour. You could use it in different forms. That's how I'm using it today. Okay, here we go. Yay! Okay. Going back to that blush that we did on our eyes. And watch this. Fish face ready. <laughs> this color is Queen Carnation. You pick up too much, you've got this little tray. I'm going right above where I went on that bronzer onto the actual cheek. And it goes on like a watercolor. The cool thing about this cushion technology too is it has um, hyaluronic acid in it, which is a form of natural form of skincare that helps put elasticity and it helps put a little boost plumper back in your skin. Yes, girlfriend needs all the plumping she can get, just telling you. Okay, that highlighter, that Delilah Love highlighter. Here we go. We're gonna glow a little bit with just six steps. So I'm just picking it up on my pad, patting it out. Now I'm going above where I did that blush. Right above it with that highlighter. I'm just gonna pat it out here. Okay, down the nose, boop, boop, boop. Cupid's bow, put it right here where the sun's gonna hit you, and you're glowing, and you're glowing, and you're glowing. There's probably a song that goes with that too. I don't know it. All right, <laughs> Magic's Dust. I'm just gonna dust just a little bit of this fine dust over the top just to give me a little bit more of a matted finish. Just takes a tad, and I'm gonna woo, woo, woo. mainly in those eye in that T zone area. Woo, woo. Okay, how many have you been counting? How many products have we used? I don't know about you guys, but that eye look is growing on me. I think we could do this. Okay, so last step is a lippy. I'm gonna let you pick my lippy. My lippy. I just dropped the lid of the lippy. Oh, Jen. I done went and squished it in here. Okay. It's my favorite color, too. And it doesn't want to come out. It's always how it works. Ah, there we go. I dropped the lid. Okay. So, surprise. Which one? With this top. Mm, I like this since we kind of pulled that pink. Oh, let's go with surprise since we pulled that pinkish on the lips. Okay, so let's count the steps really quick for our look. First, 
we did the Magic's Tint, okay? I should have went with Fair. I had to darken it up a little bit. So, Magic's Tint first. We did the Magic's Wand for our concealer. We framed our face with that tattoo um, eye pencil. We used the, which one is this? Uh, highlighter as an eyeshadow and as on our cheeks, okay? And then we used the blush in Queen Carnation, also on our eyes and on our cheeks. So we dual purpose that. Okay, so we are five products in. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, five products in. Um, we bronzed. Look at how big this thing is. We bronzed with the Morning Sunflower, which is the lighter of the two shades. Okay. And Super Extend Liquid. Love Waterproof. Ah! Magic's Dust. And Surprise Birthday Balm. So let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine products and we're done for the day. So, I hope you liked my challenge. Um, take me up on it. Show me your looks. I'd love to see you share some pictures of your looks. If you need help matching colors, definitely, definitely let me know. I will help you match colors. Um, and if you're interested in earning extra money, doing something fun like this from home, let me know. I'll hook you up. Um, or talk to your local representative. She can hook you up too. So please share and have a fantastic day. Bye guys.